The National Liberal Media just had a fit, by the way. So each and every one of you who went to one of these uh, tea parties, uh, thanks for doing so. I hope the next uh, tea party, whatever it's styled as, everybody will go to because it just for no other reason than this. The national liberal media gets so snarky it can't stand itself. Uh, then all of these two cute by half ideologues trying to pose as some sort of uh, objective journalist, uh, uh, you know, these fools start falling off their little, uh, the little high horses. It's fun to me, uh, but I'm I'm pretty sure that you're going to see a lot more snarky little nastiness coming out of the national liberal media. They can't accept that the American people, that the vast majority of Americans in this country are through uh, with the ideological nonsense, whether it's on the left or the right, and they're sure through with the national liberal media uh, who think, uh, you know, they're just a heck of a lot smarter than everybody else in this country. Uh, get ready for a lot of uh, vitriol, a lot of pure. I mean, you, you know, this uh, Janine Garofalo, who, by the way, I don't know what she does other than appear on uh, left wing uh, venues and programs like Keith Oberman's. They just sort of whine and snark, and she she's a one-woman, uh, you know, hate event. Uh, she's just a nasty, nasty piece of business. My Lord, and to be on Keith Oberman's show, you know, a lot of meds uh, running around there, his, uh, his bile spewing everywhere. Now, listen to what, listen to this exchange, you know, on that unwatchable broadcast. Here she is with her own sweet perspective. But this, if this isn't enough to revolt anyone, when I, I don't know what would be required. Let's be very honest about what this is about. Mm -hmm. It's not about bashing Democrats. It's not about yeah. taxes. They have no yeah. idea what the Boston Tea Party was about. That's right. They don't know their history at all. This is about hating a black man in the White House. This is racism straight up. That is nothing but a bunch of tea banging rednecks. And there is no way around that. Wow. You know, it's, it, you know I haven't heard anyone equate criticism of the administration's policies now with racism until uh, Janine Garofalo appears on uh, uh, the uh, the overdone show. Uh, I, I mean, I cannot believe this. It's about hating a black man in the White House. This is racism straight up, and there's nothing but a this is nothing but a bunch of teabagging rednecks. Is that about as hateful as you can get? I, I mean, she is just, I think, an appalling human being. Uh, but you know, she gets airtime uh, uh, on that uh, on that network, uh, where they can't get. To, you know, they think that they their responsibility as a media outlet is to be a conduit for the Obama administration. Uh, they think they are the bastion of uh, you know the the uh, the 21st century socialistic thought uh, they're as left wing as it can get and they apparently are uh, you know hell bound to be the a conduit for the Obama administration uh, the venue for left wing politics and zaniness uh, in, in this country and power to them because the farther they go in that direction, the more irrelevant, if uh, they've been been relevant at any point, but the more irrelevant they become. L listen to the more insanity from this Garofalo. Uh, what a name. I like that. Garofalo. Here she is. The Republican Party now depends upon immigrant bashing and hating the black guy in the mm -hmm. White House. Will people act on that? It's not new. But, you know, uh, Fox doesn't mind fomenting it. Michelle Bachman doesn't mind fomenting it. Glenn Beck doesn't mind fomenting it. Lou Dobbs. Lou Dobbs. Oh, man. He sure doesn't mind. But this is, this is their, <laughs> what have they got if they don't have this? You know, I, I, I have a question. You know, both of those idiots, neither one of them has any idea what I'm saying. Uh, secondly, uh, I've never bashed immigrants in my life. Uh, thirdly, uh, what do Obermann uh, and this Garofalo, what do they have if not to look down their noses at their fellow Americans uh, and to uh, put down an honest demonstration of public feeling? You know, this is the kind of lunacy and the and the venom uh, that makes left-wing politics in this country possible. Let's be real candid. 
Uh, these people are such elitists. They don't care about working men and women in this uh, country. They don't care about our middle class. They certainly object to the rule of the majority because that would mean that their elitist nonsense uh, would be uh, would be playing somewhat uh, back of the parade, uh, and they couldn't stand that. And to call people rednecks? Oh, I see. Uh, Name-calling is fine if you're on the left. Uh, This is embarrassing to the whole country, uh, but uh, to even have uh, impulses like those of Obermans and Garofalo uh, on the airwaves. Just left-wing lunacy. No wonder, no wonder we're watching uh, a a major shift right now in public attitude and uh, and opinion uh, on ideology in this country. Yeah, it's sad to watch. It truly is. Uh, you know, they should just take their medication, go away. They're unpersuaded by hope, obviously, uh, even auda- audacious hope. 